Is that recording? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Column the Club. I am Pete. I am Justin. And we are here at Midtown Comics, uh, coming to you live. Well, not really live. Not live. When it's they not see live. it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on your time because we believe in your time. Uh, so we're going to be talking about Siege, number one. Uh, Blackest Night, number six. That came out um, a week ago. And uh, Weird Western Tales, number seventy-one. Hope you, you've all had a nice uh, New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Happy Year's New Day. Year's. Oh, by the way, uh, Alex Zalvin yeah. had a baby girl. Yep. Her uh, name is Penny. Penny Zalvin. Bad yeah. Penny Zalvin. Is what we're calling. Uh, no, we're not on, calling her that. Man. We're not calling her that. And yeah, a lot of people are like, "Oh, Penny, is that a comic book reference?" It is. In the back cave, there's a penny. Giant penny. You get and it? So, yeah. No, that's not what Alex did, but that's what we're... <laughs> that's what we're saying. Yeah. Uh, moving swiftly on, um, let's talk comics. We've got Siege Number 1 from these uh, Timely Comics fellows. Um, mm. They cha recently changed their name to Marvel Comics. Yeah. Uh, so, Siege, yeah. finally. Yeah. The we got a lot rain. of samples of Siege, and then we finally get to read the whole issue. Uh, yeah. I felt like I've read the first five pages eight times already. Before. Yeah, it also feels like I read it back in Civil War, <laughs> uh, back when the explosion in Stamford uh, caused a fight. Yeah. This time it's in Chicago, which uh, well, uh, yeah. got to move it a little west. Eventually there'll yeah. be an explosion in um, Santa Monica, California, and that'll really get people. That's really going to get people angry, and there's going to be a big fight. Yeah. So um, this, I don't know. What do you think? It's. Uh, at it's least it's event. moving forward. It's it is an, an event. event. It's happening, and they decided. Wouldn't it be crazy if we attacked Asgard? You can't attack Asgard, can you? Uh, Apparently you can. <laughs> Spoiling for a big fight. Um, still frustrating to see Steve Rogers um, being angry in Captain America outfit. And we still don't know how uh, Heroes Reborn is, or how uh, Captain America Reborn is resolved. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a little, it's all, I'm a little frustrated with the fact of, like, this has been the main title, dealing with Captain America, but now it's like people can't wait. They're already starting to put Captain America and stuff. But uh, that being said, Siege, hey, if you like big events, you'll love this because it's got a lot of people in it. I will say it's it's still exciting to, to think of Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor fighting together again no matter what. And yeah. uh, it'll be interesting to see. This is going to be a long event. So uh, overall, uh, I would say it kind of sucks oh. to, to kind of like overall oh, right. like it, it's kind of good and it kind of sucks the siege like all things so <laughs> so maybe pick it up if uh, you're really into nice it. I mean you, if you're at all interested in uh, what's going on in Marvel this is where it's at um, but I will say not a lot happens in this issue besides a lot of posturing it's a setup. and it's standing a setup. on the nose of fighter jets uh, moving on to Blackest Night number six. This came out uh, last week during the Gap Week, um, or Indie Comics Week, um, where a lot of indie comics went on the stands, in place of the big two not uh, sending out any books. Right. But we did get to see a lot of colors coming together. Yeah. Uh, I, I just learned all these colors, uh, when combined, uh, you get black, which is sort yeah. of uh, a, a metaphor, you could say, for this entire uh, I that, Would you say a meta metaphor? No, no. I would say that uh, apparently the lanterns are running out of living things to... Uh, team up with people, so if you're alive, you could get a ring, basically, yeah. what we learn in this comic. And one thing that I've recently been uh, exposed to, if you're a big issue involved in this comic, if you're colorblind out there, you have no idea what's going on. Yeah, it's yeah, just it's tough sort of so all these sorry. different gray spectrums. But what do you think of this new team of lanterns? I think it's a little crazy that we have, uh, we have, um, uh, this one-time power granted to all of the uh, different spectrum. Yeah, it's a weird kind of, hey, 24 the, hours you get to be superhero slash good guy. For 24 hours, um, each avatar of the different um, spectrums can uh, deputize another um, person to carry on the will, greed, or whatever the different thing is. Yeah. So now at the end of this issue, spoiler on here, we have Lex Luthor as an orange lantern. We have the Atom uh, donning some... A tribal outfit to become uh, an individual. Yeah, you get a new outfit as well as a new ring. And yeah. then there was the ring battle under Wonder Woman's hand, uh, where yeah. you know, even though they ran out of alive people, they decided Wonder Woman's dead, but we can still bring her back to life. Who loses when a ring fights another ring? The jeweler. The jeweler we do. Loses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and and us. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. This it seems this event's starting to seem less. Uh, so yeah. hopefully we're gonna get somewhere pretty soon where we can be real happy about it at the end and we get a new status quo and we find out who's alive and who's dead yeah and apparently you can outrun rings if you just run fast enough they'll drop to the ground like, that's true I've been running from an engagement ring for years now <laughs> uh, moving on to um, Weird Western Tales number 71 this um, filling the gap month uh, in Blackest Lantern we're seeing uh, a bunch of titles extended from when they were cancelled to one more issue I'm looking forward to Starman number 81 but the first one to kick it off is Weird Western Tales number 71 
Um, Wild West, written by Dan DiDio. Yeah. Who, yeah. Um, I don't know if you know, um, is a noted bald man. Uh, <laughs> and also president of, uh, or editor in chief of DC Comics. Yeah, which is an indie comic company that's really up and coming, and <laughs> we really, really hope they make it because they do a lot of great stuff. In uh, this, um, we see a lot of characters from the western part of DC Universe who you may not know, mm -hmm. and they are uh, together. For, again, for the first time, yeah. I'm frustrated every time I see the Ray. He's in so many comics and never had, has a character. He's always like, "We need the laser guy in here," and I love him. Why is he doing this? I don't. Know. I just feel like when the, you put the names of everybody on the front of the cover and then you try to reveal them like a surprise, like it's me, Batlash. It was like, "Oh, we knew you were coming because it's on the cover." Yep. It was just like, uh, "Don't put it on the cover, and then I'll really be into the reveal later." It's so, uh, because uh, I'm a huge Jonah Hex fan. And uh, I felt like it was just like, it's me. I was frustrated. I like him so much, and he seemed like a villain here. Really. Yeah, it was, well, you know, that's so what I happens said. when you become a black uh, western zombie. Yeah. So many titles here. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I gotta say, this is a miss issue for me. But yeah, yeah. I thought, you know, I thought it was cool. I loved the idea. I bought it. I was excited about it. I was a little uh, let down, but I think the art, uh, and there were some cool moments, but overall, it's like, yeah. Blackest Night is wearing a little bit. Uh, clearly, we have a lot of guest stars here um, walking in the background. We didn't tell you about them, so they're sort of reveals. Yeah. That must be Spoiler. a pleasant surprise. Spoiler yeah. for those. Yeah. Um, well, uh, that's what we got here today, um, but check us out where you check us out yeah. um, in all the places. And, and uh, if you're ever in New York City on a Tuesday night, we'd love to see you at our live show at the People's Improv Theater at 8 o'clock. Don't worry, we won't be going anywhere because we're not having kids. <laughs>